Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on factorising quadratics of the form ax squared minus bx plus c. Now in the previous video we explored how to factorise quadratics where there was a number from the x squared, but we only dealt where we had positive terms. The difference here is that we might have a negative term in the middle. And in the video after this, we'll see where we have more a mixture of positive and negative terms. So let's go back over the method we used in the previous video. We need two numbers that add to give the middle number. So we look at the number in front of the middle term, the coefficient of the y term here is minus 17. So we take that number in the middle, including the sign on the front, and then do you remember we wanted two numbers that multiply to give the first times the last number, not just the last number, the first times the last number. So six times five, which is 30. And sometimes this is called the AC method because A times C, we just did A times C there. Now, what two numbers add to give minus 17 and times to give 30? Well, let's think about factor pairs of 30. Well, it could be 30 and one, but do they add or subtract in any way to make minus 17? No. What about 15 and two? 15 times two is 30. Ah, well 15 and two seem to combine in some way to make minus 17. Now if you think about it, if these two numbers we're trying to find multiply to give 30, and it's positive 30, either they're both positive, so positive 15 and positive two, or they're both negative, because negative times negative is positive. Now 15 plus two, when you add them, they don't make 17, but if they were both negative, so minus 15 and minus two, they do add to give minus 17. Minus 15 plus negative two is minus 17. Now, do you remember once we find these two numbers, we split the middle term. So we split this middle term here using those two numbers. So the minus 17 y, we're gonna split into minus 15 y and minus two y. Because if you think about it, when you simplify this, minus 15 y minus two y does make minus 17 y. It simplifies that. Now we still got the six y squared and we still got the plus five, so we split the middle term here. Now the next step is to factorize each half of the expression. So we factorize this half and factorize this half. So factorize each half of the expression. So six y squared minus 15 y, we look for a common factor. Well, six and 15, they have a common factor of three, so we can take the three out, and y squared and y they have y in common, so we can factorize 3y out, and then we put a bracket. And then we think 3y times what is 6y squared? Well, 3 times 2 gives you the 6, and y times y would give you the y squared. And 3y times what is the minus 15y? Well, 3 times minus 5 would give you minus 15y. And then what we do is we duplicate that bracket. So let me write that down for you, duplicate the bracket, but leave a space in the middle. Now what times 2y minus 5 is minus 2y plus 5? Well it's minus 1 isn't it? Minus 1 times 2y gives you minus 2y and minus 1 times minus 5 gives you positive 5 because negative times negative is positive. And then finally the final step is to factorize out the bracket. So these two terms here have 2y minus 5 in common so we factorize out the 2y minus 5, and then we put another bracket. Now 2y minus 5 times what is this, well it's just 3y, and 2y minus 5 times what is this, well it's minus 1. And the simple way you could think about it is just that this bracket here is going to be one of the brackets, and the other bracket here is just going to be whatever's outside, so the 3y minus 1. So that is the final answer.